Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unbox and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to demystify how to update the drivers on your MSI motherboard. This is actually really easy to do now. The MSI Center, which is a piece of software which you can get from either MSI directly from the links from your individual motherboard, or you can head over to the Microsoft Store and just type in MSI Center and you can download the application from there. There's a very cool feature built in there called the Live Update, which can be used to update your Windows system drivers, various other applications and potentially even your BIOS, although I would possibly steer a little bit clear of that one. It isn't the best and is certainly less reliable than using the BIOS itself or the BIOS flashback utilities, of which we've made numerous videos on. But today we're going to be taking a look at how to update our Windows drivers, so let's get on and do that right away. Okay, so this is our Windows 11 desktop, uh, same applies for Windows 10. If you don't have MSI Center installed already, you will see this icon down in the bottom corner if you do have it installed. If for some reason you don't and you need to get it, click on the Microsoft Store logo. And all you need to do is just type in MSI Center. And it's that one there, MSI Center app. If you click on there, you can choose to download it. If you haven't already got it, or alternatively, you can choose to open it. You can open it from here, or alternatively, if you just go onto the MSI Center icon, double click, and it will open up. Now, depending what has been opened previously, it will generally remember what was the last thing that opened. So you may find that you're in the feature sets window where it asks you which ones you want to have installed, all that kind of good stuff. Anyway, I'm digressing. What we want to do is to update our drivers. So the easiest way of doing this is in the top here. We've got a section for support. So just click on support. And then from the drop down menu, you've got various options. You've got live update, system information, and service. Service is for RMAs, those kinds of things. System info is your system information, as you've probably guessed. But the one we want is live update. So let's click on that. When you first go into this, you may or may not see things listed in here already. If there's nothing there, then you can click on scan. This will take a short while, and it will scan the system for any available updates. Now, in this particular instance, with our MSI B650 Edge Wi-Fi. We've currently got options to install updated graphics for our onboard graphics for our Ryzen 7 processor in the form of the AMD graphics drivers. And also there is an update to the Realtek PCI Express network drivers. So we're gonna go ahead and choose those. You may find as well that you have third-party utilities which are available to install if you want to. This, I would say probably best not to, it is Norton 360. Make up your own minds whether you want or not. You've also got the option for ADA 64 Extreme MSI Edition. And depending on your motherboard, you may have other options there. But the ones that we're concentrating on today are the drivers, which are listed here. Now, potentially, if you've got a brand new system and you're just doing this for the first time, you'll have other things there, such as chipset drivers, audio drivers, all that kind of stuff. I would suggest selecting all of them. If you want to check for a new BIOS for your motherboard, you can check for it, although, like I said, this is the riskiest way of doing it, but you can, if you wish, click on Advanced, and this will do an advanced scan and actually check to see if there's any updated BIOSes available online. Now, this particular time, it says there are no updates available. It's already up to date. Now, I actually know this to be incorrect because there is actually a BIOS update which I need to apply to this motherboard, which I haven't done yet. So for some reason, the system is not saying there's a new one. Whether or not it's because they found there's problems with it or whatever, I'm not entirely sure. But at the moment, there doesn't say there's one available. If there is one available, the choice is entirely up to you whether you choose to install or not. But as I said earlier, and I will state it again, this is, of all the methods, this is by far the riskiest. In my opinion, it does seem to be more problematic than others. I would certainly suggest doing the BIOS updates either from within the BIOS, if you're able to on a working system, or using the USB BIOS flashback utility if you don't have a working system. So we don't want to do that. So let's go back to here and we're going to choose our drivers. So just check those two and we'll click on install. Now I'll say here, system reboot is mandatory to complete BIOS drivers and software update. Do not shut down the system during the installation process. Pretty much common sense, you wouldn't want to do that anyway. So let's just click on install. And now it'll go through telling you the percentages and installing the drivers in the background, leaving you free to do whatever you want. 
And this I find is uh, considerably easier than trawling around the MSI websites or going to AMD for one driver, going to Nvidia for the other, etc. Most of the stuff you can just download straight from within this application. As you can see, we're already at 99%, so that's gone by pretty quickly. So we're just gonna let it do its thing. So there we go, that's just finished, and it will then do another scan just to make sure there isn't anything else that it needs to do. Again, we've got the third party utilities, we're not gonna bother with those. You can also as well, if you go to the Microsoft app tab, you can download the latest version of the Realtek audio control. This is a universal Windows program, so you can do that if you click on get from Microsoft. It will come up with Realtek Audio Control, and you can click on Install. It will ask if you want to open in the store, and yes, we do. And as you can see, Realtek Audio Control for us. In this instance, we've already got it installed, so we can just click on Open, and you can see it runs in the background. So we don't necessarily need an update for that, but if you do, then you can install it from there. So there you go, that is a really straightforward and simple way of updating your drivers, your chipset drivers, graphics drivers, and basically anything else which is attached to your motherboard. Very straightforward thing to do. And certainly I would suggest if you've just done a fresh installation of Windows 10 or Windows 11 on your MSI product, definitely worth doing this first of all, or at least do your Windows updates first, then head over to the MSI Center and get the updates specific to your particular platform. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, you can hit subscribe and the chime notification and you'll be notified of future video releases. As always, if you've got any comments or questions or any difficulties, you can let us know in the comments section or join us over on our Discord. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.